Well, Iran's oil output is not the only game changer in the Middle East. Iraq's Kurdish region is now selling oil independently from Baghdad. But falling demand and higher output could mean fewer funds to combat the ISIL insurgency. Our own Jessica Stone explains. Iraq has been struggling to pay for its war against ISIL, and it's just gotten tougher. Iraqi Kurds are now selling oil on their own, more than 600,000 barrels a day. That violates a 2014 agreement where the Kurds agreed to transfer their oil to Baghdad for sale. The move helps fund the Kurdish fight against ISIL, but at a cost to the central government. Baghdad is already struggling to pay its bills because of the crash in oil prices. The cost of a barrel of Brent crude, a global benchmark, is now less than half of what it was a year ago, and it's still falling. That puts Baghdad in an even tighter bind. Around 95 percent of Iraq's budget is from oil exports. Adding to Iraq's budget headaches <laughs> is a culture of corruption Prime Minister Haider al trying to stamp out. He's eliminating senior government posts, hoping to cut spending and clean up graft. <laughs> Hundreds came out over the weekend to support his plans to slash spending on security for government officials and to launch corruption trials. It is a good decision, and we want more of these decisions to be taken. It was a bold move, and we can describe it as progress, but there is a lot more that needs to be done. And that includes getting the Kurdish oil deal back on track. When Haider al-Abadi came to power, it was as a Shiite leader who could do business with the Kurds. And, of course, it was a major achievement when they were able to announce that deal late last year. Well, now the Kurds say they need to sell their own oil in part because they can't pay their fighters against ISIL, a group that now controls up to a third of Iraq. Jessica Stone, CCTV, Washington.